the checking in light, the amber light, and the DF light are blinking. As you can see, that is the issue that this uh, truck is having right now. There are many reasons why this light is on. Many, many reasons. Um, in this case, these are the following calls that we are getting on this truck. And um, it's one of the reasons why this light is going to be on. So, uh, obviously, we have a problem with the DF pump. There is a problem there. And um, as we go underneath the vehicle, we can see that there is issue on the DF pump. The DF pump is not working properly because it's leaking. And it has a lot of stuff that is um, avoiding it to actually work correctly. And uh, the correct uh, repair for this will be to replace the DF pump and then follow the um, process to eliminate this D rate because right now we are on a D rate. That's the reason why the flashing uh, DF light is on. And uh, we have to do the process with the DL software to eliminate this D rate and we can send this truck back to the road. And this is just one of the reasons why this light is on. So um, when you guys are driving off the road, there are many type of problems you can um, face, especially when you are driving over 3,000 miles. And um, remember that these trucks are meant to, to be running 24 seven. So anything can go, wrong, can go wrong at any moment. Now, um, when the emission light comes on and um, you are going to present the problem then um, the truck is going to reduce the speed to 50 miles per hour, 55 miles per hour. And eventually, if the red light comes on, it's going to stay on 5 miles per hour. I have a couple videos showing how light, this, uh, how light to actually work made this problem uh, go away just for the moment so you can go back to the city of the destination. And I have a video too on how light to replace a DEF a DF pump if you want to see that, you can check my channel and you want to find all those videos. So uh, the reason why I'm doing this video like this is because many of you think that just because the DEF light is on or is flashing, it could be just one solid problem. There are many different problems that you can present and not only until you hook the computer, you are going to know what type of solution you are going to um, recommend as a mechanic or, or if you are an operator, what type of solution you are going to look or what uh, type of parts and everything that you are going to repair. Now, um, once you repair this specific issue, as for example, we are going to replace the DEF the EF, the EF pump on this one. And this doesn't mean that this light doesn't, um, it's not gonna come on again. It's gonna come on for all the reasons, emissions that are low, the DPF uh, injection bad, or the DEF injection bad, it, the filter itself going bad, or wiring, or other sensors that are going bad. There are many different reasons why this light is going to be on. So, um, in a very easy way to understand is that if you are looking to fix your DPF problem, your DPS problem, or 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 your SCR problems, and you are thinking that it's going to be a cheaper solution, like a super cheap solution. Probably not, because over the time it's going to cost you a lot of money. Now, um, it will depend. Some of the trucks, like for example, this truck has, I, I don't know, like a 600,000 miles on it. And you already present like three different type of SCR issues over the time that this truck has been running over the road. But some trucks, some trucks don't present problems, probably up to 800,000 miles. Some of them present problems up to 300,000 miles. So it varies. So... Uh, it will, it's going to give you the, uh, the time to run the truck. That's the good thing. It's going to give you enough time so you can make the money. But the problem is that some other things that are going to break too. Because the truck not only has emission system, it has engine, it has transmission, it has tires, it has everything. So all those components have to be taken care of too. So uh, you have to do all that to actually keep your truck running but emission system is a totally separate system because it's a very expensive system and you need a special elements to actually work on it you need a special knowledge and a special tools to actually work on it and that's the reason why i'm doing this video so yeah, you guys understand a little more about how it's like to work on this um and uh i had 
as I say, I have many videos showing how it's like to do many different um, repairs on SCRs and DPF systems. So that way you understand what you need to do in case you get a specific cuts, a specific, a specific folds, or how it's like to replace one thing. And uh, so that way you can save some money if that is the case. If no, at least to know what type of problem and what type of solution it is. So that way when you take it to a shop, you know what they want to do. Now, uh, in the case of this truck, uh, the owner was asking me about the delete. I don't know if you guys know about the delete and I'm pretty sure you already know. So the delete is a way to actually re uh, remove the emission system completely off of the truck. And um, it will depend up to everybody what they are going to do. They can decide if they can do it or not. When you do a delete, basically you are eliminated everything that has to be with the DPF, SCR or, D or DEF system. So everything is going to be completely gone so the computer the actual acm is not going to register any type of fail then these sensors are going to present over the time because they're no longer in function um is that recommended well i cannot say that because that is something that everybody will have different opinions if it is cheaper to do that way yes it is cheaper because if you spend depending over 25 to 40 uh, for 4,500 bucks to actually remove the um, SCR, DPF, and whatever else you want to do, um, you are going to spend it once. And versus keeping the system original, it's going to be a little more expensive because 45,000 bucks is pretty much what you want to spend probably in one repair. And then all the repairs that are coming later, that's a totally different expense than you have to face in the future. Um, if you really want to go that route, you can, but you know, there is problems about uh, DOT inspections enforcing APA laws and stuff like that. I hear it. I have no idea. So you guys are the only ones that are going to take care of that if you are going to decide to go to the delete route. But um, in myself, in my opinion, I always like to keep the trucks with the original systems because I like to learn more about the, the system day by day. So learning about the system makes it easy for me to understand how it's like to repair them and to make more content like this to, so you guys can fix them instead of deleting it. But it is up to everybody what they want to do. So there is two options at the end of the day or keep keeping the system or deleting the system. The cheaper solution, deleting the system, keeping the system more expensive, but you are with emission compliance. So the decision at the end is gonna be yours, but in this case, we are going to do what we have to do on this one. And uh, you can clearly see the problems. I'll give you a good example on how like this uh, problem on this Cascadia and uh, the solutions and everything and why and why not we are going to do something. and the second option that you have at the lead. So if you have any questions about it, you can always go to the comment section below and there you can leave any type of questions or anything. Then um, we'll help this video to be more informative. Anything, uh, if you are an operator and you, if you already deleted your system, you can um, comment below and share your opinions. I mean, like, it's very important for you to do that. So that way people understand that if they're scared about that. And if you have any type of any suggestion of anything else then could be helpful for this video just comment below look for me francisco my youtube on instagram and follow me there too uh, look the description of the video where i have details how to send support to the channel like the video share it and thank you for watching